Guy Star Rail. We're going into the shop. I'll talk to Sir Wall in just a moment. Ooh. A cabinet with many tools and machines. You cannot tell the function of the items inside the cabinet based on their silhouette. This is just a decoration. Its rotation does not produce any effect. The gears are turning in a way that's violating the rules of techno technophobic physics. Why would you ever have that? The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city both above and below the surface. What is Geomero? It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Above and beneath the surface? You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Ah, so Kakalia has practically just said, oh yes, let the people suffer. Why is this, why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Thanks for your no answers. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Sure, we're not busy. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Man, what the fuck? You see, it's quite simple. An old VCR machine. You dare not imagine what it might show you. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. Well, time to go to the hotel. Come around and have a look. There are apparently two chests in here I'm missing. Where? Where? Can, yeah, I'll find them in my own time, actually. I shouldn't be looking for them in the middle of recording. But where can I get this? So tired. Huh. I just want to put my head on a pillow and drift off. Seems like the first day of our trailblazing expeditions is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hung? <laughs> I have no Don it's Hung. Because you've you. got too much energy. Wow, what a beautiful lobby! It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers! <laughs> March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. 
Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out! Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. Yeah, and tomorrow we're gonna land a pretty horrible deal, and we're going to get a royal treatment in a very garbage prison room, and get no support of anybody. That's... Not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort, uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. I knew there was something up with her. Something up with her? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. It must have been the Invisible Man. Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, discussions in prison. Or a grave. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. That's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Didn't someone mention a pillow fight, though? Yeah, about time! Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room, then. Express lights off! <sighs> Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is, based on all signals coming from your sensory organs, a perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute, scent? How is the scent a measurement of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter, it smells good, and it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any natural materials. Rather, it isn't a curiously cleansing scent that is completely artificial. A marvel of chemical engineering. It is so ruined that all you want to do is get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. Whatever, I'm going in. Yes, you are about to go in. Left foot, right foot. Turn around. Take a deep breath. Darn it, why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm, and then... Close the door in one smooth move. Bang! Congratulations! You've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from the reaching state of excitement. Perhaps you need one more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all this. Hmm. This place might seem a little dark for you. Guess you'll eventually get used to it. Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. <laughs> That's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself. Just a little while longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait, did you hear that? The sound is closing in. 
the real deal is coming? That's exactly right. Just think about it. Now take a guess. Whose footsteps are those? It's the Hotel Devil. Yes, yes, now you finally get it. The Hotel Devil resins... The, the resin devil. It hibernates in dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. You picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of the Herda space station, the doomsday beast is, um, doom? Yeah, today is the day you purge the evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be in that dark, that dark in the closet. The white of Valver illuminates your surroundings. Wow. A room service, is anyone in there? There it is. All Hotel Devil love to distinguish themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by Quipoth. You are prepared. Um, hello, I'm going to come in now, okay? Now, Devil, meet your judgment. Bang, the closet doors slam open. Ooh, what the heck? You won! The Devil is now banished and this land is now purified. That Devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as a reward for your intrepidity. The interior of the hotel is nice and cozy. Even during the daytime, this corridor is still lit brightly. Hmm. Okay then. Guess there's nothing to do. Time to go to bed. Who are you? What are you? I feel like I'm dealing with the end from Sonic Frontiers again. Hey, did you hear that? There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. Maybe they're not here to escort us? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. They're gonna be like led by Ronya and saying that we committed treason. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down oh, below. Crap. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? No tricks, you say? Well, tricks are for kids. I'm going back inside. Just imagine, imagine that your target is like, they come out and you're like, no tricks, and they're like, okay. They just go back inside. Oh boy. All right, well, what did we do? Huh? It's you. You were there at the fort. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord and the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. What? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't 
what we agreed? She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. <sighs> this is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Donham, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. We should... No, what we want to say that one. Well, you sounded pretty convincing. Three of a kind. Uh, can we focus, please? Shh. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That guy's got head trauma. Now we really committed a crime. Have an ice day! They charged straight in! Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Just because she would said, yes, these people are suspicious, and they ran away because you were saying they are suspicious, and yet they have done nothing to be suspicious, you're just like, oh yeah, she's correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed-off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog's security. That is what I must do. Man. I don't think I want evil, Branya. Great work. <laughs> it was a team effort. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Hmm. Well, we need to get that way, but there's a gate so in the way. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ugh, the cheek! That the woman cheek. had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. Who says something to cheek? What? Ha! It has been quite a while since we were able to throw some Evil's hands. Evil's begun. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? A thousand wonders to raise your good omens. Fight us one! Ugh.
Reach the end of the story in your own way. Bud of ether. Oh boy. It will mean we found ether. Oh. Level 20. Oh, hell no. Supreme Guardian was important speech. These things are so, yeah, so much, so much. Too much to read. Things on the space station were a lot more interesting to read than what's happening in here. Looks good. What do I, I keep thinking we need to get to level 14 for something. What is it that I think we need to be level 14 for? Running stain right there while I give you a present. I should have done this first. Uh, yeah, I try hard this. sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Always welcome. <laughs> yeah. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Take this. Form a line, Billy. Will you call it something small? You know, the rules are made to be broken. Hold that giant ass hand. Shall we chill out? You couldn't have done it without me. Is that right? Looks good. Running into me, Stain. Right there, while I give you a present. Just a scratch. Try that again. You can't. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh. Wait, there are silver main guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Damn it, okay. Wait, there. They must have entered. We should avoid an open. see something. Ooh. Is this enough for a ten pull? I can only get one. Need a little bit more. Ah, 
It doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yes. We saw one in Serval's workshop. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Looks good. chance. I gotta be saving some of these Just old things now. Try that again. Ooh, that's not who I want you hitting. Why are you hitting? Oh, no. Well, there's the first character death. God damn. Stay right there while I give you a present. Person who you have the worst have luck shield. with me out here. How can we lose? Let's go. Take this. <sighs> Try that again. Wait, because she died. I don't think she's going to have her ultimate. You can't. This is our chip. Batter up. You couldn't have done it without me. Good thing that was right there. Yeah, she doesn't have her thing now. We should avoid an open con. Yep, the levels are getting up there. And fights are getting a little bitchy. But I know the definite point of when I'm gonna need to Seize level the up my characters with, with items. Evil's begun. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it. <gasps> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Where did I get that? Oh, well, there's the timer. Cause every night I will save your life.